there was a moment in my life when I was about uh, 16 years old when I realized that life wasn't perfect and life wasn't necessarily fair to the eye, but there was always a purpose. And, uh, you know, when things go wrong in your life, you're always kind of wondering, why, why does that happen to me? Da, 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 da. And one day it just woke up inside of me that it was going to be what I made it. I had to make this life for myself. Nobody was giving me anything. And uh, that's when it changed and I began to grow into the man I am today. I don't give up on my dream because I don't believe I was just created to exist. I was born to bring something to the world. I was absolutely born with a purpose, and my purpose is to sing and write, bring a new respect, hopefully, and a new passion for music and the artistry of music versus just the sound of it. Oh, man, I'm, it's excitement. It really, truly is. And it is, um, I, I have to admit, I've always believed that I was born for this type of thing, so I... I'm unusually comfortable with all of it, but it's, I, I can't even describe how incredible it is. Just people paying attention to it almost just feels weird, like, do you know that I'm just Michael? It's really cool, though. The live experience was one of the most incredible feelings I've ever felt singing. Um, I, you know, I sing in church and all that, and I love singing in church, um, but this was a different thing, and, and performing live knowing this is my shot. Um, this is my chance to perform. You know, the people are in the audience and the idea that people were watching. I, from the moment the music started, I just lit up and I had a blast. I laid it all out and I probably hit a couple of notes that weren't supposed to be hit just because I was just spending it all out on that stage. It was a blast. They didn't necessarily speak negatively about me as much as they, they, they had a higher standard, which is very neat because I love that they have such a high standard for me that I really have to show up to to satisfy them. Um, but you know, it it it's very important to to grasp the situation and understand that this is a shot of a lifetime. And I completely received that advice because um, it may never come again. And if we if you can you know no matter what happens if you win or don't win or come in third or second. If you show up on national television in front of 30 million people, somebody's going to notice. Um, the thing I'll remember the most about the first live week is how much time we got to spend with some of the most incredible mentors in the business. Deborah Bird, you know, um, the, uh, Ricky Miner, uh, incredible people that make people great all the, all the time. All the people that we've seen and admired and loved. And, oh, 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 you know, these are the guys behind the guys. It's kind of like a great movie with a great actor, but the guy under him is what actually makes him look good. Um, they make us look good. And and Bird especially, she was very invested in me this week and um, really really fed me encouragement and pumped me up, um, gave me the advice I needed, and I can't even describe how thankful we are to have that at our disposal. It's amazing. That would be my favorite thing about this week. Simon and his heart harping on my likability and it's probably the biggest p compliment you can pay me because I care a lot about who I am as a person and you know what kind of legacy do I leave behind whether it's whether I have a great music career or not but people remembering me for a good person um, the integrity that I walked around with being truthful and honest and people knowing that when you what you get from Michael is is the way it is and um, him saying that he liked me and he even encouraged this was the shocking part. He encouraged America to vote for me, and uh, that was amazing.